Ay, nahanap. <laughs> May nahanap ka na na research area, how to narrow it down to a research topic. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon sa vlog na ito. In this series, magbibigyan ko ng step-by-step -step procedure paano ka makakabuo ng isang magandang engineering research title. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to hit the notification button para mas marami pang maabot at matulungan ang vlog na ito. In part 1, nagbigay ako ng mga paraan paano ka makahanap ng research area base sa field ng engineering na nandyan ka. Dito naman sa part na ito, magbibigay ako ng paraan paano mo inanarrow down ang research area na iyon sa isang research topic. I encourage you to watch the part 1 of this video for you to be, to be guided how to find the research area. Kung ready ka na, tara, simulan na natin. If you can still recall, meron tayong ginamit na framework upang makahanap tayo or makabuo ng magandang research title. Ito ay ang tinatawag natin na engineering research journey na magsisimula sa research area at inanaro natin to a research topic and then finally, Finding research problem from that research topic. Ang focus ng part na ito ay kung paano natin inanarrow down ang isang research area into a research topic. There are two things that you need to understand so that you can narrow down your research area into research topic. Una, what is your research interest? Makakatulong ang engineering thesis upang mapalawak mo or ma-explore pa ang isang paksa or topic na interesado ka. Ma mas mapapalalim ng paggawa ng research ang iyong kaalaman about that particular topic or paksa. Say for example, ikaw ay isang mechanical engineering student at meron kang interest sa paksa ng mga robots. So pwede mong i-pursue ang topic na robotics under sa mechanical engineering. Or kung ikaw naman ay isang civil engineering student at meron kang interest sa mga bridges at gusto mong i-explore ang bridges. So pwede mong gawing topic ang bridge engineering. Mahalaga na gusto mo ang topic na iyong pipiliin sa paggawa ng engineering research kasi mas magbibigay ito sa iyo ng dagdag na motivation sa paggawa ng mga iba't ibang activities sa research gaya ng literature review, paggawa ng prototype, pag data gathering, or pag data analyze. So mahalaga na tanungin mo ang iyong sarili, ano ang aking research interest? And try to pursue that in finding the research topic. Pangalawa, what type of research are you pursuing? Ayon sa author na si Herman Tang ng Engineering Research, Design, and Publication, mayroong tatlong uri ng engineering research. Una ay ang basic engineering research. Sa basic engineering research, ang overall goal is for you to explore new knowledge or theories. So ang magiging focus mo kapag pinili mo ang type ng research na ito ay ang fundamental or new understanding. Ang time frame ng basic engineering research ay usually long term at ang magiging contribution mo ay ang paggawa ng or paghanap ng bagong theory. Halimbawa nito ay ang research trying to find new source of energy or a research exploring the theories of magnetism. Ang second type ng engineering research ay ang applied engineering research. Ang overall goal naman nito is to expand or create technology or knowledge directed primarily towards a specific practical aim or objective. So ang magiging focus mo ay mga new process, mga new materials or new parameters. Ang time frame ng paggawa ng research nito ay midterm. At ang magiging contribution mo 
ay mga technologies or new inventions. Example is a research trying to find out new source of energy for Ilocos, or a study on how to prevent flooding during rainy season, or a study on how to detect monkeypox. The third type of research is ang tinatawag na research and development engineering research. Ang overall goal naman nito is to develop or improve products or services. So ang magiging focus ay ang specific realization ng mga products or services. Ang time frame is usually short or fixed term. Ang magiging contribution mo ay mga new products or technological preference. Example is design and development of tools for agriculture or searching for application of new research findings or modification of formulation or design of products or processes. At dahil nga, yung thesis natin ay nagtitake lamang siya ng one or two semester, mahalaga na pag-isipan mong mabuti ang magiging timeline ng iyong research. Take note na kapag pinili mo ang basic engineering research, usually it will take a longer time frame. Usually sa engineering thesis ay pinipili natin ang applied or ang R&D research and development wherein yung gagawin natin is mag-apply na lang ng mga theories to a specific application to solve problem or to develop or innovate new products or processes. Now, let's apply what we learned so far. Halimbawa, ikaw ay isang civil engineering student at meron kang interest sa topic na green building or environment or climate change. So sa pagtitingin mo sa research areas, nakita mo ang isang topic na building and environment. So pwede na i-focus mo ang iyong research doon sa research topic na building and environment. Next na gagawin mo ay pag-isipang mabuti what type of research ang fit sa timeline, sa budget, sa resources na meron ka. For example, kung basic research, Pwede mong explore ang concept of structural sustainability of green buildings kasi you're trying to develop theories about structural sustainability ng mga green buildings. Or sa applied research naman, pwede structural assessment of green buildings in Metro Cebu. So gagamitin mo na ang existing theory about structural assessment for green buildings in particular in Metro Cebu. Or for example, research and development, pwede development of fiber reinforced concrete for green building. So gagamitin mo na yung mga existing na fiber reinforced concrete or magde-design ka or magde-develop ng fiber reinforced concrete for green building application. To review, kung meron ka ng listahan ng mga research areas, depende sa field na pinoporsue mo, whether mechanical, civil, electrical, at iba pang engineering, una na yung gagawin is to ask yourself, what is your research interest? Pangalawa, what type of research are you pursuing depending on your target goal, your time frame, and your contribution? Maybe at this point, nahihirapan ka pa rin paano inanaro down ang research area to a research topic. Huwag mag-alala kasi sa susunod na parte, Nang series na ito ay gagawa natin ng paraan paano pa natin ina-narrow down ang iyong research area into a research topic through the research problem. Kaya naman, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to hit the notification button for you to be notified when I upload the next video. Don't forget to share this video para mas marami pang matulungan ang channel na ito. Maraming salamat! I'll see you.